Welcome to Game Dev Guidance. In this video, we will be implementing a third-person camera using Cinemachine. This camera will follow the character's movement and through code, adjust the orientation of the character to face the same direction as the camera. I will also teach you how to set up a free-look Cinemachine camera, using the orbital values, to fine-tune your camera any way you'd like. Check the description for links to previous videos in this series if you have not been following along. And if you find this tutorial series useful, please like and subscribe to show support in this journey of game development. Let's get to work. To install Cinemachine, launch the Package Manager by clicking Window, then Package Manager. Select the Packages tab, and make sure Unity Registry is selected. Scroll down the list until you find the Cinemachine package. With it selected, click Install. Close the Package Manager window once the install has finished. Right-click in the hierarchy, find Cinemachine in the drop-down list, and select Free Look Camera. Name it something like, Player Camera. With the new Cinemachine camera selected, head over to the inspector and notice these two fields, Follow, and Look At. We could simply drag our character into these slots, but if we do, you'll notice that the camera seems to be targeting our player's feet, which I am not particularly fond of. Let's create a new object for the camera to target instead. Right-click the character, and select, Create Empty. Let's name this something like, Camera Target. With our new target selected, move it to a position that makes more sense to you. I prefer the target to be just about at shoulder level. Now select the player camera, and drag our new target into the follow and look at fields. That looks much better now. Under the axis control section, for the Y axis, I prefer it inverted, so I will check this box. And for the X axis, I prefer it to not be inverted, so I will uncheck this box. Let's set up the top, middle, and bottom rigs next. The value field under the Y axis subsection controls the current rig position, as well as these buttons here. By selecting the top rig button, we can now view where the camera will sit on the top. I am going to set the height to 4 and the radius to 3 of the top rig. Select the middle rig button to view where the camera will sit on the middle. I am going to set the height to 1 and the radius to 6 of the middle rig. Now select the bottom rig button to see where the camera will sit on the bottom. I'm gonna set the height to 0 and the radius to 3 of the bottom rig. Save your project and enter play mode. Test your camera setup by moving your mouse around. Pause the video here if you need to do some more tweaking. Once you are satisfied with your camera setup, make your character run forward while rotating the camera. You will see that his orientation is not adjusted based on the camera rotation. Let's set that up now. In Visual Studio, we need to adjust the movement vector to include the camera's forward rotation before we pass it through to target rotation. Declare a new vector3 variable, name it cam, then initialize it to camera, dot main, dot transform, dot forward. This will always return the forward vector of the main camera. Next, we need to set movement equal to quaternion dot look rotation. Pass in a new vector 3 with cam dot x as the x value, 0 as the y value, and cam dot z as the z value. Then, we need to multiply the look rotation method by movement. Save the script and head back to Unity. Enter play mode again and try moving the camera around while running. You'll notice how the player's forward direction is now based on the camera's forward direction. Excellent! Something that bothers me though, is when you run strictly to the left or right, the player seems to be running in a circle around the camera. This might be ideal for your project, but if you would prefer that the player runs in a straight line when running left or right, let's fix it now. Exit play mode and select the player camera. Under the orbits tab in the inspector, change the binding mode from simple follow with world up to world space. Save your project and give it another go. Now if you run strictly to the left or right, the camera will not rotate, but just follow the player along his path. This is the ideal method for this tutorial, but every game is unique and should be treated as such. There are quite a bit of settings you can play with in the Cinemachine Freeloop component to truly give your camera a distinct look and feel, so don't be shy about playing around with them. That's all for this tutorial. Congratulations! 
you now have the knowledge to implement and adjust a Cinemachine camera in your game. I hope you found this video useful, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to show support for my channel, please consider giving that thumbs up button a gentle smash. And if you're enthusiastic about continuing this exciting journey through game development with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, game development is a journey. See you at the next checkpoint.